my name is Diana Trujillo, and I'll be playing River Flows in You. Hey guys, welcome to the Interruption of Flow podcast, guys, with your host, Tony Beltran, a.k.a. Tony Tone. Guys, today I have a special guest for you. Her name is Diana Trujillo. She is an inspiring, young, talented artist who lives here in Lake Nona slash Orlando, Florida. She happens to be the daughter of a friend of mine, and um, I wanted to do this podcast with her because I believe... She has a great motivational message. Okay. She can help other young, expiring artists. She's okay. completely self-taught, which is so impressive. And I'm going to turn it over to her so she can introduce herself. And then we're going to ask some questions and find out more about her. I'm also going to show you, uh, since she's a multi-talented artist, she plays the piano, the guitar, the drums, the violin, you name it. She's also an aspiring songwriter, okay. and we're going to talk about that as well here on this podcast. So, yeah. without further uh, ado, <laughs> here you go, Diana Hello. Trujillo. How are you? What a freaking intro. Yeah. My God. <laughs> like, it's like Grammy Award winner. Right? Not yet. It's coming, <laughs> but it's coming. So, tell us about yourself. How did you get started into this? How you? Uh, where do you think so, your talent came from? And um, break it down. Ooh, talent... Definitely not my parents. Um, no, my dad plays the spoons, and my mom is an engineer. So no, um, definitely not them. Definitely by God, I'll I'll give him credit. And as far as like music, I start. I've been doing music since I was little. Like I've been drumming on things, uh, making noises. How old stuff. are you right now? I'm 23. 23. I'm 23. And you started yeah. when? I started like taking music seriously when I was 19. 19. I did like covers on YouTube because I like I wanted to be famous for like vanity but then around like 19 my heart kind of shifted and i wanted to really do something with like a message and so that's when i started learn how to produce learn how to sing how to comp vocals everything i started to really hone in and i've been doing it since so yeah do you think this is a calling for you yes oh 100%? yeah 100 percent. um i mean before it was something that I, like well i always loved music and always came easy to me um but like I told you, around like 2019, I started to like get my relationship with God seriously and also um, music. And so they both kind of aligned and God really spoke. He was just like, yeah, I want you to use your talents for good. It's it's great that you have it, but I want you to use it to help people. And so, yeah, it's definitely a calling. Like there's a lot of purpose between literally everything I do. So what yeah. would you say is the genre of music that you are under or are these several genres? Yeah. So I say I am pop. Like I can write and pop. Um, but I can do other genres. Like right now I'm doing, I released a song called Troublemaker. Go stream it. Listen to it. It's everywhere. Um, thank you. Um, also, but like for example, that song is a punk song. So I could do punk. I could do, I have like a song that's reggae. I have a song that has a folk vibe. I mean, all different vibes, but it's mainly just it has pop sensibility. It's catchy. Um, yeah, like the lyrics are relatable, but it's overall pop. Yeah. Okay. So would you say, regardless of what you play, regardless of what genre exactly, mm -hmm. pop or otherwise, or even Christian or versus True. secular. There is, a, I forgot to mention, there is a Christian message to some songs. So yeah. in all the songs and all the music that you put out there, mm -hmm. what is your overarching message that you want to get out to the world? So the message, the overall message Behind is... Behind the music. It really depends on each song. 
So like, for example, with Troublemaker, the message is that um, like you went through a heartbreak and you need to be freed of this like burden of almost of, of the breakup where you're like, I'm heartbroken, but I can't move on. This song is a song of freedom. I'm a heartbreaker, sanity shaker, whatever. Blame me, but let's move forward. That's one song. So each song has a, a positive message of something that can relate to a human on any level and it pushes them forward in whatever struggle that they're in. So depending on the song, the message varies, but overall it's, I just want you to move forward. I want you to heal with whatever it is that you're going through. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the, the purpose of it. That's great. Music yeah. is really a healing factor in yeah. so many different uh, situations. You can't be uh, selfish. Right. With the gift. Who are your musical inspirations? Um, yes. Uh, I get excited. Um, <laughs> John Bellion, Megan Trainer, Alicia Keys. Um, this new guy called Joshua Bassett. He's awesome. Um, Anybody else? older, old older? school? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I mean, I have so many. I love also like old music, classical music. Uh, Beethoven, Mozart, the Vivaldi, the geniuses. I also love B.B. King. I love blues music. I love John Mayer. I love yeah, uh, um, Eric Clapton. Oh, I love... These are virtuosos. Sean Berry. Like, I can keep going. Right. Like, everyone. <laughs> like, Ariana Grande. Everyone well, you that pick, ever existed. You picked some big but, ones there. But the, hope, the, the main ones are like John Bellion. Like, classical music. Blues kind of music. Because they just take out different parts of me. That I, like, really love singing. So, what are you doing currently to push your music out to the world? What avenues are you using or platforms? Yeah, um, I'm using I'm using uh, Spotify, YouTube, my Instagram account. Um, Which is what? What's it called? My Instagram account is Diana Trujillo. Spell music. that for everybody. Yes, for the people that don't know how to spell Trujillo. Mm -hmm. So it's T R U J I L L O. So Diana Trujillo, well, D-I-A-N-A Di right. for Diana. So okay. Diana Trujillo Music, M-U-S-I-C. Um, put it all together, that's me. Um, that rhymed. And I also do <laughs> Snapchat, YouTube, Spotify. You can find me music-wise anywhere. The same so, username? Same thing, Diana Trujillo. Yeah. Awesome. Find so that. it's consistent. It's consistent, yes. I'm not Billy Bob on Snapchat. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> what are your... Um... What? <laughs> What are your future musical goals and aspirations? What do you want to be, yes. let's say, in 10, 20 years? Good question. So I have, right now I'm studying music production and I'm finishing that degree in spring. And the goal is to release all these songs that I, uh, that I have, like a songwriter, as a producer, as an artist, release all that now that I'm young. Well, I have the energy. Um, and at the same time, I'm going to be going to study law because I also love the entertainment side of things, the uh, like the copyright and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's I feel like gets really abused and overlooked, and a lot of artists don't know what they're reading. And I'd like to be that one voice in the room, even if I'm a producer, you know, and I have my law degree. I'd be like, hey, by the way, I studied this. They're screwing you over, and I can. So help you want to protect people. artists? I want to protect. Yeah, I want to awesome. protect people, and I also they need that. Want to tell people about the industry like i don't just want to work with the client i want to have a podcast and be like okay so guys this is how it is in this industry and educate so you want to be uh an entertainment lawyer entertainment lawyer and an, an artist both i want to try and make both happen basically. awesome uh, yeah. i'm sure you've heard of one of the best artists in the world ever mm -hmm. including uh, a, a musician one of the best ever to do it, and that's Prince. Oh, yeah. And he used to talk about Thanks. this in the <laughs> 70s, 80s, and 90s yes. when he was alive. The uh, How the industry takes advantage of artists, how you structure contracts, the, the, the non-use of contracts, and how you can yeah. protect yourself. He would yeah. always rail against the music industry like, and how you can basically do your own thing. Yeah. That's basically what you're describing in today's yes. world. And there's a lot of... Um, like Jake, for example, he's the artist that wrote Golden Hour. The, it's your golden hour. That one. He is like not signed to a label. And he's doing it all by himself. Producer right. and his brother. Engineering. You don't need one. Self-promoted. Right. You don't need you don't a label. You don't need one. You want a promotion? <laughs> go to Instagram. There you go. TikTok. Social Perfect. media. Social media. It's literally your promoters on your phone. And if right. you struggle with that, 
there are people that study this and you go and you find them, talk to them, see what they can give to you. Of course, all according to your situation and like finances and everything, but most of the time people will give advice freely. So like just look outside, look in, look in your like what's around you, your community, like, you know, stuff like so that. So that leans into my next yeah. question, which is great. In your, your young experience and what you've been doing and your love and passion, yeah. which is great, what advice would you give to young aspiring talented artists like yourself okay um hmm. i mean i would just tell you guys like it is 90 percent business 10 percent talent so i love that you're talented that's awesome that is important because it gets you in the room unfortunately for you to stay in the room you right. need to have a really strong business understanding so like I would educate yourself on basically how a song is released. If you can write a song, awesome, that's great. You've gotten to a point where you can make a song. That's rare, some people can barely do that. Now figure out how it works. And I would just highly encourage you to do it yourself, to independently. Um, I understand those who do go to label, yes, it's nice, it's a corporate, you know, you, you can lean on something, but at the same time they control everything. So if you are someone that wants to take control of your music and your message and everything, independence. And it's hard. Independence is hard, but it's worth it because at the end of the day, you know it's yours. So I would just say that. Be business savvy and lean towards more independence as an artist. I, Guys, she's 100% correct. I can't stress that enough yeah. because uh, unfortunately record labels, music labels, yeah. Uh, in the entertainment industry for music and even um, not just music, but, you know, acting, whatever, are nefarious and notorious yeah. for being nefarious and, uh, yeah. you know, stealing the artist's money, to be it's, honest with it's you. It's that and also, like, um, it's the dynamic. It's businessmen, right? right? And you're an artist. You want to you wanna have a little bit of your little 10% understood, but they only work in that 90%. They don't understand much artists. They know, oh, that's talented, and they hire it. But it's there's a disconnect. So if you are able to switch, good for you. Most people though don't, and it's I think it's healthier. It's healthier to be independent. You own everything. You control everything. Plus, it's more rewarding at the end of the day. You hired that music uh, video person. You didn't have someone else do it. You control. It's great. Control your content. Control, control your. Content. your your yeah. uh, your image, you control everything. Your yeah. identity, and yeah. your this is a big one. You control your own creativity. Yes, which is massive. You're, You're an artist. Hitting something so true. Oh my gosh. Correct. Want like, to talk on that? Yeah, like a lot of artists, like in, in the beginning of their career, well, I get it because they haven't. They want to get I, out there. They want to get out there so they get with the right songwriters and stuff. Sure, um, but then it's almost to the point where they kind of lose track of who they are and they become something completely different. And then this is so common. They'll release like three albums. And then by the fourth album, they're like, this is me. I'm like, then what the heck do you was do up all to them? of this? <laughs> and I like, it's com I'm not going to say names, but a lot of pop stars, like that's what happens. They'll do like the first three, gain the rep or whatever popularity. And they're then when they reach their peak, they're depressed. Why? Because they did stuff to impress and they lost the artistry. They literally sacrificed them for popularity. So guys, that's, painful. that's uh, uh, listen that's to this real. guys. She's only 23 and she already <laughs> understands this I'm 60 dynamic, <laughs> right? I'm 60 uh, which is so true. It's happened to so many different artists um, throughout decades and decades of, of yeah. the music industry. I'm not saying everybody's nefarious. That's not what I'm true. saying, but it does happen and uh, you want to protect yourself. So yeah. on that note, uh, in summarizing this, yeah. is there anything else you want to get out there? You want to say before, uh, um, you know, anything you want to say? Anything tell else? people where they can find you. Well, yeah, I mean, I'll tell the socials too. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on, uh, oh, well, Snapchat's different actually. I just realized, oh. Maybe not Snapchat, but on Instagram, you can follow me, Diana Trujillo Music, on YouTube, on Spotify. That's where you can find me and find TikTok. out any information. TikTok, Diana Trujillo as well. Um, yeah, that's where you're going to find any updates and on music and, else, and all that stuff. And I guess one last thing I'd say is thank you for this. This is, yeah. I'm so grateful. I'd like, 
This is amazing. So I'm just so glad for this opportunity to talk about music, talk about goals and stuff. And Oh, be on the lookout for new music. It's coming. There you go. It's coming. Well, right. first of all, thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. I love yeah. uh, my podcast is about a variety of different things. One of them is not only just young talent, entrepreneurship, any experiences of any kind from anybody yeah. that have a motivational factor, inspirational factor, and that could help others heal, you know, yeah. in any kind of way, any support, you name it, doesn't yeah. matter. So thank you for doing this very much. And uh, guys, this is uh, Tony Tone from The Interruption of Flow. Please follow on YouTube and subscribe. You can follow me on, um, <clears throat> on their IOF podcast. IOF is Interruption of Flow. And I'm going to be putting out much more content. And uh, thank you guys. So this is Tony Tone. I am out. Peace. Peace.